Hey guys, what up? It is hair wash day and it is long overdue. This is for kind of like dandruff prone hair. Um, I don't think you can see any right now because of this um, has really, really helped me get rid of dandruff. And this product is like $9. It's the Ordinary Glycolic Acid Toning Solution. Let me unveil this mess. I did leg day today, so I just like threw it back. I love the slicked ponies, but I try not to do them that often. It puts a lot of tension on your hair and I don't love that for me. All right, so this is the before. I don't even wanna show you guys the back. It's actually honestly like a day or two overdue to be washed, but I wanted to film this video and I kept running out of time and I didn't wanna wash my hair and wait like another seven days to film this video or probably more like five days but this, this has been a while. So I don't have um, like a scalp oiling routine. I know that's really big right now because my concern is kind of my dandruff to be honest. Like, and I don't have it that bad, but I do get it a little bit. And so I use this and I probably could use an oil like along with this or like just different days kind of have like an oiling schedule. I've heard rosemary is really good, but it's something that I haven't tried yet. Um, so I just kind of put this in all of the parts of my hair. Um, honestly, if you use it pretty consistently, you don't need to do as much. If you're using this for the first time, I would start by just using it like every other wash. But like I said, I have pretty mild dandruff. Um, you know, obviously talk to your doctor if you have like really big concerns. I am no expert. I just actually kind of just started getting dandruff. Um, lucky me. So once that is in my hair, I use this tool here. It's like a silicone head massaging tool and I just massage into the roots and I try to do this for a couple minutes. I don't like brush it all the way down my hair because that's just not necessary. Um, really, you just wanna keep this product on the scalp and just kinda like Elvis Presley slick it back. It's, this is very, um, very raw. <laughs> so don't make fun of me <laughs> for this, but this is, this is the reality. I feel like my hair wash routine has really evolved in the past year and I've found some really great products and just techniques that I really, really enjoy. Scalp stimulation is something that's really important for hair growth. So it's a really good thing to do before you wash your hair. And if you, I also use this for my shampoo and it's really great for that. So I'm gonna explain, while I'm doing this, I'm gonna explain how I like to shampoo because it's kind of easier to do it now um, versus when I'm in the shower. When I'm really, really going in, I like to actually flip my hair over and really like, the best way that it was described to me is split your hair into four sections. So like that's half and that's like obviously, you know, fourths, like split it into fourths and just focus on each section at a time. So that's section one, section two, and then you flip to like section three, section four, and that gives you like salon clean hair that actually lasts. Like I remember literally even just a couple of years ago, I just was not washing my hair properly. No one ever taught me. Like, I mean, my mom taught me how to wash my hair, but like I didn't know like the tips and tricks to like really, really get in there. And your hands can do a great job of washing your hair. Like, don't get me wrong. You don't need a tool like this, but it definitely helps. All right, so I'm gonna let this sit in my hair for like 15 minutes, 10 minutes. Um, you do have to let this sit for a little bit, but then I'll come back and I will show you guys my hair washing routine. All right, after letting that glycolic acid sit for probably about 10, 15 minutes, I start by wetting my hair and just making sure it's thoroughly wet before going in with my Whey Detox Shampoo. This is a clarifying shampoo, so I wouldn't use this every single time. Um, I felt like I had a little bit of buildup in my hair from some of the products I had used in the past. So you can see me going in, flipping my hair over and working on those sections like I talked about, saw section one and section two, and now I'm kind of going in the middle and working on the top two sections. I found that splitting 
my hair up like this really really helps just get my scalp fully clean which I used to have problems with because I just didn't know how to do it. I like to try to rinse my hair with cold or cool water. I find that that really helps lock in the moisture and another thing I like to do so you can see I'm squeezing out the excess water in my hair before I go in with my conditioner. I find that this helps the product um, just get in a little bit deeper. I'm using the Aussie three minute curl. Um, this is more of a hair mask to be honest, but it's, um, you know, same, same thing. Um, I leave my conditioners in anyways, like a mask, but you can just see me just combing through with a wide tooth comb. This really helps with tangly hair. Um, my hair always seems to tangle. And then I started doing this trick and now I get out of the shower and it's already brushed through. While I'm waiting for my hair to just marinate in that conditioner a little bit more, um, I do like to put it up and leave it for as long as possible, maybe do something else like shave, whatever. Um, so I took it down and now I'm just rinsing out the conditioner and just trying to get all the conditioner out, making sure to use cold water. Um, you see me step away from the shower because it's definitely cold and I'm somehow keeping a straight face during this, but it's chilly. Um, I, it really helps with the shine though. I've seen a really big difference when I do this. And one thing about conditioner is it can cause body acne really easily. So I do like to put my hair back up um, as I'm finishing up the shower. Next, I like to put my hair in a microfiber towel, but first I towel dry it a little bit, just trying to squeeze out some of the water. And then I twist my towel on and just connect it in the back. Okay guys, so obviously out of the shower, um, I've got my hair in this turban towel. It's like a microfiber towel, so it's really gentle on your hair. I'm gonna leave this on for about 15 minutes and then I'm gonna take it off, let my hair air dry to a point where it's almost dry, to be honest. Um, and then I'm gonna go in with my blow dry routine. It's definitely a process, but it's totally worth it. All right guys, so I just took my hair out of the turban and I need to let it dry a little bit more, but first things first, I'm gonna part my hair. I'm gonna use that same comb that I used um, for my conditioner. Um, I do kind of rinse the conditioner off because it can dry up, but to part your hair, you just comb your hair backwards. There we have a perfect straight part. Let me show you guys the supplies that you're gonna need for this. All right guys, so I set up the supplies that you're gonna need. This is the Revlon um, hair dryer curler. It's like a brush basically. This is only about 40 bucks, so it's really good quality. This can get very hot though, so that's why I'm waiting for my hair to be mostly dry. I want to avoid um, as much damage as possible. On the subject of avoiding damage, I've been using this heat protectant spray since high school and I feel like it's worked really well for me. So I'm just continuing to use that on all of my hair. Um, and then as well as the heat protectant, I'm also using this humidity protectant. Um, it's the Wow color, it's the Color Wow Dream Coat. It just makes it so shiny, so smooth. It really helps with frizz for me. I have like very frizzy hair, so this extra product has done wonders. And another thing about this product is you only need to use it every few washes. As far as products go, a really good hair oil. Um, I've used the Moroccan oil one a lot. I think it smells really good. It does kind of have like a smell. I like it personally, but just forewarning, it has like kind of like, I don't really know. Um, I don't really know how to describe the scent, but it, it can be kind of strong. I mean, it does go away, but it's, um, it's a good product. This brush, $2 brush from Amazon, just comes in handy, obviously for like parting hair and I like to brush my conditioner through. Um, this specific clip by Skunsi is very large and it actually holds all of my hair. I have problems with, let me show you. I have problems with these kinds of clips. My hair is just too thick for them, like the opening, it just, I've broken a lot of these. This one, if my hair is like more thinned out and shorter, I can use, but right now my hair is too long, so I need the big boy. These are my rollers. I'm gonna use these at the end. Um, I also have some clips that I bought. You have to buy them separately, which kind of sucks, um, but 
These are the Kitsch Thermal Ceramic Thermal Rollers. They're really good. You can get cheaper ones on Amazon. Um, I just saw these and I wanted to try them. And I actually don't roll my entire head, but you guys will see that later. This is an overview of the products I'm gonna use for my blowout. And hopefully it turns out amazing. It usually turns out really good. All right, so my hair is dry enough. Time to section it and start blow drying. So I'm starting off with some heat protectant spray. After each section, I like to tie it back with a scrunchie. As you can see, I kind of curled it like I was twisting the machine like this at the end once everything was dry. So you'll kind of see that method um, as I go through the rest of my hair. And normally I do about three sections. So if I were to give you a tutorial without it on, because obviously it's really loud when it's on, I go back, forward, back, until it's dry, and then I take the machine and I twist the hair. Oops! I twist the hair like this. I did not mean to turn it on. And then it kind of sits nicely and it can kind of sit in that curl in the pony. That's the idea. So then doing the same thing, just tying that section back. All right, so I'm down to the bang section, the last section. Um, I don't do too much differently with this section, but just like a little bit. So with these sections, I really try to blow dry up so that I can get more volume on top. All right, now the rollers are gonna come into play. So my hair is um, pretty much all dried and I am gonna do a couple rollers on top and then one or two on the sides. And I find that that's plenty. You can fully roll your hair and it looks great too. Basically though, it's kind of similar. You're gonna section, but I section through the part. So I'm gonna start in the back here and pick up some hair, and then I'm just going to kind of, oh, I probably should get my roller out first, so that might be helpful. Okay, so for context, I'm gonna use this big roller and this clip here, and I'll show you guys how I put it in. And basically, you just kind of, I calm it through my hair and then at the top, I kind of start to spin it and then just go down and then I twist it around and then I just clip it. And I basically do the same thing following down the front. Then I just pull some more hair here and no, it's not perfect, um, but trust me, it does all come together somehow. That back one shifted a little bit, that's fine, we'll fix it. So same thing, and then I flip it around. I find that flipping it around leaves less of a crease and just makes it a little bit easier to clip. As you can see, it can get a little annoying. All right, so I don't know if you guys have noticed, I'm doing my bangs the opposite way. So let me explain. I'm putting, I'm starting it here. My hair is on top and the roller's on the bottom. For these other rollers, I had started the roller on top of the hair. So a little bit of an opposite motion here. I'm also gonna use 
the small roller for my bangs. So this little guy here, and yeah, like I said, putting it below. It's kind of confusing because I twist it around, but you get the idea. So hair is going below, just like that. Sorry, I can't really do it in camera. It's really hard to not watch myself do it in the mirror. We have a little half mohawk going on. So now I'm gonna do two, probably one on each side here and that is kind of enough for me. That usually like looks pretty good and it gives like the bevel that I'm looking for. And I'm gonna do my hair the same way. So the same way I did the bangs, I'm gonna flip it up so that it has like a little whoop, flip up. Ooh, this cord is really trying me today. All right, so that's all I'm gonna do as far as curlers go. I'm gonna do one last blow through, blow through, like one last kind of curl of my hair and then just leave it so that it has a nice curl to it. All right guys, so at this point, if you're following along, your hair should look something like this. So I just leave kind of that curl in my hair. I try not to touch my hair very much. And I have a few curlers in on like the main parts. This kind of like bevels it out really nicely. So I will come back in a little bit and take these out and show you guys the final product. Hey guys, so I have had these in for a little while. Um, the longer the better, but honestly it's getting kind of late and I want to go to bed. So I'm going to start taking them out. A couple tips on taking them out, obviously remove the clip and then it helps to like twist it. And boom. And you kind of have to brush through a little bit. It's not going to look perfect right away. So just bear with me here. Okay, I swear it's easier than this. I'm just tired and I'm making it look a lot harder than it actually is. Yeah, if you just kind of twist it out like that, it just comes out really easily. And the last one. Boom. <laughs> All right, I gotta fix my <laughs> part really quick. I'll be right back. All right, back in business. And I'm just gonna kind of comb through. I don't know why, you know, whenever I film, <laughs> a little something always seems to go wrong. Today my hair is a little bit more tangled than it normally is, but not a problem. All right guys, so this is what it looks like. I'm not gonna lie, it looks a little bit better when I have shorter bangs, but I think it's still really cute. I'm gonna do a little bit of hair oil. So yeah, it really just kind of flips out the ends, makes them like fun and dramatic. So yeah, this is the final hair. I think it turned out really cute. I definitely need a haircut, but it looks really good. Like I said, when like your bangs are a little bit shorter. lots of volume and yeah I hope you enjoyed the video today I am gonna go to bed so I'm actually gonna put on my silk little nightcap and I'll show you how I do that to kind of preserve this blowout I like to gather my hair and kind of put it up like I'm going to put up a claw clip and then I just hold that and from the bottom wrap my headband around and then just adjust it and ready to sleep <laughs> good night you guys i'll see you in the next Three, video two, bye <laughs> arguing again arguing about something so simple make it clear tell me why you're running back to him feeling insecure feeling like there's more to your character every tear that you cry is worth it in the end but baby
tell me how have you not figured